Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you need a hi, hello. My name is Emma. I'm 17 years old and I am documenting my journey from recovery from anorexia, specifically my all-in journey. So today I'm going to be doing a video on some things I eat during my all-in journey. Um, so I'm not going to be recording every little thing I eat, so this is not a full day of eating. This is mainly going to be some of my main meals and my main snacks and things, mainly because eating disorders are a really competitive illness and I don't really feel the need or want to record every little thing I eat and also it's not really great for comparison or for you guys to be comparing what you eat to me. This is solely just giving you maybe some meal inspiration or just comfort in you in some aspects but remember that you do not need permission to eat and if you're watching this video and seeking permission to eat that you already have that permission the permission is right there in front of you and you just need to take it and eat it um another thing i want to say too is that i know that the permission kind of things is always like you need someone to be eating for you to be eating or anything like that but literally solely you just being hungry or you just wanting to eat for the sake of eating you're allowed to do that you do not need to be like you know physically starving to eat you're allowed to eat regardless of your weight your hunger or anything you're allowed to eat <laughs> So I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. I definitely did. It was probably my best one that I've had since pre-ED and I'll insert some clips here so you're able to have a look at what I got up to during my Christmas. I had a wonderful Christmas with lots and lots and lots of food. Um, it was really lovely to see my family and I really bonded with my family this year. I wasn't really as, as isolated as, as I was last year. I also missed out on a lot of food this last year but this year I literally tried every single thing um i even requested my mom to make my fear foods like pies and pastries and sausage gluten-free sausage rolls and stuff like that and honestly i absolutely loved it and i also had my own birthday cake because my birthday is also on christmas day and uh we had like this frida the caterpillar which is basically a column the caterpillar um like snide version of a cake um but basically i i just had a really wonderful christmas and i'm so thankful and so grateful that i was able to spend it with the people i love in a warm house because obviously there isn't everyone who was fortunate as me and i was truly really thankful that i was able to have such a wonderful christmas so before I go downstairs and get something to eat, I also want to mention that um, during all in and stuff, you're listening to your own hunger, your own mental and physical hunger. And some days I'm hungrier than others and some days I'm not that hungry. It completely depends on the day. But the thing is, is that you have to have a minimum of free meals and free snacks a day, uh, regardless of your hunger. So that's always like that set minimum there. Uh, but I just wanted to mention that some days I eat way more and I cannot tell what kind of mood I'm in right now because of the fact that like it takes me to eat something first before I'm able to be like, oh, I'm in a hungry mood today or oh, I'm in a okay, I'm sa quite satisfied mood today. So it completely depends. Um, another thing I'm going to do just before I go downstairs, we'll tie up my hair, then go downstairs. I'm going to go ahead and answer some of you guys' questions on my Instagram because I've asked, I've put up a post saying if you have any questions or anything about All In, then please go ahead and ask me and I will answer them throughout the day. Um, so healing me, but are you allowed to count calories while going all in? And no, because counting calories is the ED behavior and it's something I definitely didn't do pre-ED and all in is about getting to my like pre-ED self basically. And although you might be like, well, how will you know if you're eating enough food? You always need that minimum of free meals, free snacks a day in recovery. So that's always going to be there. Um, but one, like I mentioned, that's a minimum. You're allowed to eat way more than that. You're allowed, if you want four meals, five meals a day, six meals a day, you're allowed to have six meals a day. If you wanted like 20 snacks, then have 20 snacks. And by snacks, I mean like, um, like, free minimum snacks like i'm not talking about just like a little chocolate bar is that like that like i'm talking about like snack plates like big selection of things <laughs> um let's have a look if i've got any more um hmm how to stop thinking about food 24 7 
honoring your hunger, listening to what your body wants. Uh, you won't be thinking about food 24-7 if your body isn't really that hungry for it. Like, I used to do this thing, it'd be like, but if I, if I keep eating, like, to my mental hunger or whatever, I'll never stop eating. That's literally not the case. Like, yesterday, for example, I ate, like, six different types of cakes. Six different types of cake. And I was like, after I ate that amount of cake, I was literally, like, I couldn't even look another like slice of cake like the thought of having another slice of cake actually made my stomach turn um but like it i i wanted it in the moment so i allowed myself to have it so let me have a look so last night i ate my caterpillar gluten-free cake i ate a coconut cake i ate golden syrup cake i ate dane cake which is so good i probably have some there today an iceland style cake buttercream cake golden syrup white chocolate chip cupcakes and white chocolate crispy cakes all in one sitting pretty much and yes i enjoyed it but i did feel quite you know physically full and also a bit sick of it but my body wanted it in the moment so i allowed myself to have it and that's what eating with no restriction is and then now today i'm kind of satisfied with cake <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and get my breakfast now and we touch we break Make it seem like we feel the same We love what we hate We lie, but we know We can't wait or it doesn't grow Give up, let it go Well, we fell apart just in time You said at least it was worth a try So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and answer a few more questions on All In while I just sit here and wait. Um, so basically someone asked, someone asked, what am I doing? Recovery Time by Me asked, do you think All In is like eating normally for people without an ED? Um, so some people, even if they don't have an ED, unfortunately it still restricts their intake. So say for example, people on diets and stuff like that, um, some people still restrict their intake. So I can't really say that every normal person eats unrestrictive because it's just simply not true. Um, because people who don't even have an ED still kind of restrict their intake. Obviously, majority of people don't restrict their intake and just eat what they want to eat. But there are some people out there, so I can't really say that everyone like who doesn't have an ED eats like all in because they simply don't. But a majority of people who have no issues with food whatsoever definitely just eat like whatever they want to eat and like, i know that loads of people think that you know all in is this huge thing where you have to eat like 5,000 calories every single day and it's simply not the truth like if you want to eat 5,000 calories every single day then go for it like if that's what your body wants and just do that but like that won't last forever like your body won't want that amount of food and i know that when i thought about going all in uh all i could think about was like my mental hunger and like this mental hunger seemed so big and so scary and so strong that like i couldn't think of what a normal eating day would be like for me because i'd be like as soon as someone kind of like you know said like a normal day of eating i'd be instantly like that wouldn't satisfy me or like that just wouldn't do it for me i'd be hungry after that um like if someone said to me like my mom said to me like um why don't you have like you know like two biscuits as a snack and i'd be like instantly i'd be like i'd snap back and be like no i'd want the entire packet of biscuits and like that was just me kind of like well that was my ed scaring me out of going all in because it made my extreme hunger seem way more scarier and way more intense than it actually was in reality because in reality i could be satisfied off 
like three biscuits not the entire packet maybe two might not satisfy me but three or four might satisfy me um but my ed would like instantly like make it as if i was this like bottomless pit and it just wasn't the case i'm not gonna lie some days i was at that bottomless pit but half the time i just wasn't and it was just my ed making me seem like a bottomless pit how is your family how has your friends and family supported your journey my mom does a lot of my cooking now a lot of my baking and stuff because of the fact that i used to be so obsessed with like making everything myself and taking the control but I've now became a lot more chill with letting my mom do things. My mom bakes the entire cakes for me and lets me eat them and be like, um, see, see if sometimes I feel like I do need to feel like I need to seek permission. There might be some times where I'm like, oh, I just want to eat the entire cake. My mom would be like, go for it. I can always make another one. You know what I mean? Like she's able to do that to me. And that kind of always like just comforts me in an aspect. Um, let's have a look if I got one more and then I'll do a little bit more a bit later on <laughs> favorite food right now um this is gonna be my last one favorite food right now hmm so as you mentioned I've been really obsessed with cake like really obsessed with cake um I've always been obsessed with cake for my entire ED journey I don't know why I just really love it um uh, i'm probably gonna say i make this white chocolate crispy cake that i might make during this video actually today and it's been my favorite thing so i'm gonna say that so white chocolate crispy cakes uh so yeah i hope these little questions helped you a little bit and i'll get back to you when i'm probably eat my next meal from your place miss your lips but i hate Hey guys, so it's still the afternoon, it's only 1.14 and basically I was decided that I was going to go ahead and share with you some things that I recommend you do to cope with guilt and just distract yourself because I just feel it's so important to try and cope with the thoughts and just ignore them and just not acknowledge them and you won't really need to sit with the thoughts if you're distracted and focused on something else so that's like definitely a main tip so if you can't leave the house or if you're you're unable to go somewhere then and if you're just stuck inside and you feel like all you're doing is just focusing on this ed kind of thing i have a little few little techniques on that you can do and little things that i recommend your you buy and stuff to help you so the first thing that i'm just going to show you is this like little cute little craft things obviously not everyone is into crafts and to be honest if someone showed me this when like a year ago or something i'd be like but like honestly, when you actually start to do them and start to focus on them, you realize that your focus is just literally on the crafts and things. So this is a stitch your own swan, which is adorable. <laughs> this is from the works and I can't remember how much this was because my sister bought me it, but like they're really, really cheap to get. So it's just make your own uh, and create. So the kit includes plastic needle, thread stuffing and assembly instructions and like stitch your own hanging decorations so you know hang it up somewhere use it as a symbol so the swan could be a symbol for your recovery i don't know um and then another thing that my sister got me for christmas was this progress not perfection diary and i literally when i opened this i cried because um i i rarely ever cry gifts but like the gift that my sister got me it was a hamper and it was just really personal i guess and when i read this quote because progress not perfection um it just hit home like i was like oh, you know um but this is a 2020 diary and in here you have like um obviously lot like your dates and stuff like that like a normal diary but you also have like a little notes bit at the back and i feel like i might write like you know motivations to recover um you know motivations for the year new year's revolution things like that and then last but not least uh, my sister got me this anxiety journal uh, i also forgot to mention this was 10 pound uh, from the works and this is also 10 pound from the works personally i think if you're gonna get something then definitely get the anxiety journal instead because i feel like this just has a lot more helpful information i feel like books are really helpful um also another book that i recommend is temper the Ferrers, um her newest one i feel like that's just amazing i'm definitely good i actually haven't got that just yet because i've been going through her podcasts and stuff but i'm going to get her book 
um but yes the anxiety journal so so good i'll show you and read through you a little bit in a minute um oh so look how cute these pens are i i'm not sponsored by the works or anything my sister works there though but um i just really love their stuff they have such a wide range of things so if you have a works nearby you then definitely go ahead and check it out because they have loads of things for like anxieties they also have some eating disorder recovery books they've got jigsaw puzzles they've got them little stitch your own swan things they've got like motivation things they've got like weird cuddly toys relaxing stuff and you know mugs and things <laughs> so exercises to soothe stress and eliminate anxiety wherever you are and by exercises i don't mean physical activity like star drums i mean things to relax the mind and stuff um so for example like they just have like lots of little like they have like activities within the book but they also have like um things such as recent research has shown that 55 percent of people have negative reactions to look at pictures of others online as they evoke feelings of jealousy envy low self-esteem and competence we are expected to keep up with the latest viral sensations and live news reports we are exposed to 24-hour news reports of disasters and death and this exposure heightens anxieties so as those are things about you know how to cut off people like how to do it in like a, a good way is in like for protecting your mental health Get the taste, no fun in this so for lunch today i am going to be having um turkey some homemade chips and some broccoli and i'm also going to be going ahead and add some some bestoke chicken gravy on top as well because turkey without gravy is just like the driest thing I will call all the blows cause using bodies isn't good enough slow down the same love well we fell apart just in time ooh you say at least it was worth the try Hey guys and welcome to my lovely kitchen and today I'm going to be making my white chocolate crispy cake treat with I said that was like my favorite kind of food at the moment and it generally is I don't know why so it's basically normal crispy cakes except when we use white chocolate and marshmallows and we make it in like a really big thing instead of like a small mini crispy cake things but you could make mini ones if you wanted to make mini ones so what you will need is some white chocolate so I'm using these Milky bars. I asked my sister to get a big bar, but she only got the mini bars, so it's in my chocolate. I also have these to add on top, which is white chocolate stars. Um, like I mentioned, marshmallows and some cornflakes. And let's go ahead and melt down the Milky Bars first. This is like a bake with me video, except from you're just melting down chocolate, so it's not really baking. And it looks like I have no eyebrows in the sliding, but I do. They are there. But yeah, I'm really, these are my favorite things at the moment. I also have some cream profiteroles for later on. I can't even remember the last time I had them, but um, they're good. I literally might just like steal, because I'm not really sure that I like like things with cream in. So I don't know if I like the actual profiterole itself, so I might just steal the sauce and take out some donuts instead and have donuts instead. Of the profiteroles. Let's be real, like donuts are better than profiteroles. Then, once you have your chocolate in a bowl, then microwave it for one minute.
So guys, I'm going to go ahead and take off my makeup and get my pyjamas on and then I'm going to go ahead and have my dinner. So for my dinner, I'm actually going to be having turkey again in another form because my my mom bought one too many turkeys. So we've had like turkey for the past like four days. So my mom made like a turkey curry and then I'm going to probably have like um a bun and then have like turkey in the bun and then have it with like potato lattices or something. Um, So like a turkey burger kind of thing. But like you know i didn't even think i was a huge fan of turkey but obviously since this christmas i realized that i'm a huge fan of turkey and i was literally standing eating it out the fridge yesterday as well just literally standing just stacking it on the fridge because it was just like a plate full of turkey that and like i hate wasting food now so like i just i was just eating it off the plate so i decided that i want to do like you know a cute little soft care routine you know trying to do one of these cute little masks that i got from a christmas What the hell is this? <laughs> I just want to move on So I've got to be strong I know I so that is dinner done and i'm gonna go ahead and get my night snacks now um so basically i don't think i'm gonna be able to record me eating my night snacks mainly because of the fact that i sit down in front of the tv and eat my night snacks with like my family and things and my family are obviously just chilling on the sofa and i hardly think they want to have like a big camera in their face so i'm just gonna go ahead and like record what i'm gonna be eating and things i might be able to try and snap a few clips of me eating something but nine times out of ten, I'm going to just try and just relax around it because I don't want to record everything like I mentioned. Um, but yeah, like, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you guys so much for watching. If you want more videos like this, then please go ahead and like, subscribe and comment and just let me know if these videos really help you. I've got to let go.